there's an intimate connection between how we smell and what's called the Major Histocompatibility Complex, or MHC. MHC is a section of our DNA that determines which diseases our immune system is equipped to fight. There are about a hundred genes within this region, each with many different variants. No two people have the same MHC combination, and no two people smell the same. You probably think it's your sense of having kindred souls that draws you to one another, but some scientists say it's actually your sense of smell that sparks the attraction. In his book, The Compatibility Gene, Daniel M. Davis posits that our body's natural compatibility cells could be working in concert with our sense of smell to home in on its best mate. Known as histocompatibility genes, their primary job isn't to make our dating lives easier, though. They're there to seek out and destroy all infections that enter our bodies. Davis argues that given their speciality, they could be major players in determining genetically which people would make the best partners. His studies are an extension of what's come to be known as the smelly t-shirt experiment. Women were asked to sniff boxes that contained unwashed shirts men had worn two nights in a row. Most of the ladies gave top responses to the shirts that had been sweated up by guys with different compatibility genes than their own, meaning together they'd make stronger offspring. Evolutionary psychologists begin by pointing out that, regardless of the culture in which we grow up, we all tend to respond the same way to a surprising variety of things. Most of us find spiders unpleasant. Certain body types sexy. All, they say, are legacies of our evolutionary past. Another deeply embedded instinct we may have inherited from our ancestors is the ability to smell a genetically compatible mate. In one unusual experiment, scientists had young men sleep in the same t-shirt for a couple of nights until the shirts were infused with their unique smell. It turns out, when women were asked to rate the sex appeal of the different men based only on the smell of the shirts, they consistently rated higher the shirts of men whose immune genes were unlike their own. From an evolutionary perspective, this makes sense. Choosing a mate with different immune genes gives offspring a greater protection against viruses parasites and other pathogens. The ability to smell good genes is a remarkable talent. But like most instincts, we don't even know it's at work. We just like the way someone smells, or the way they look, or because they make us laugh. People don't have sex because they want to perpetuate their genes. They don't like someone because they want to get better genes. They do things because they feel good to them. They have sex because it feels good. The relationship between those good feelings and gene survival may not even be known to them. They never think about that. They do things because it feels good, and they never think, why do those things feel good? Why have we evolved a brain that makes certain things feel bad to us, or certain things feel good to us? And that's the question that we're addressing. It's totally cool. It's just part of being a living thing. We all smell, and we actually all smell different. It might be hard to tell on a city bus or in a crowded locker room, but your brain definitely picks up on it. So much so that you tend to favor people and things that smell differently than you do. See, we're all covered in these molecules called major histocompatibility complex proteins. Animals use MHC peptides to find a mate, and scientists have found out that we might actually use them too. See, you've probably heard of pheromone parties. Have you heard of these things? This is a party where everybody brings a sweaty shirt in a plastic bag and then everyone passes around the plastic bags and smells them and whatever shirt you like the smell of the most is supposedly somebody you'd be a good romantic match with. It's actually kind of scientifically sound. And the idea is that people sleep in a t-shirt for three days to get their pheromones all kind of embedded into the t-shirt and um, then they put them in plastic bags and these are kind of numbered and then people hold up the plastic bags with the numbers that they like the smell of and have a photo taken and this is then projected on the big screen and the idea is that then when you see someone holding up your bag with your number you can go and talk to them. I smell a lot of them and I kept this number in mind so I was kind of like oh, I'll go back and get that number. Yeah. 
one of the people I was standing in queue for the line for had has had three women pick up his bag already, and he said if he had a fourth come along just before. And we're I chose this one because um, I think it smells like honey and vanilla, which is a pretty attractive smell in my book. But when I offered it to some of the other women in there, they said it either smelled of nothing or smelt of sweat. So I'm really feeling like people have individual tastes and pheromones at this point. A lot of them have a really damp smell though too, like I've noticed the man ones, they're not manly smells, it's like they've like wet dog. <laughs> they've got them wet and they've put them back in. I don't find them too appealing. There's a couple though that are really good, but the ones that are good are very popular up on the screen. Yeah, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of straight away no, put that one back on the table, whereas when you take, when you take the ones that smell nice, you sort of take a smell and go, it smells pretty good, but I'm not so sure about that. And then you sort of compare it with a couple of the others and go, yeah, that actually does smell quite good. So these are pictures of girls holding my bag because they like my scent. Yeah, so we've already talked and um, I, think, I think they want to meet up, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Are you looking for that perfect guy? Well, you might just have to follow your nose. It turns out that in a study by Brown University showed conclusively that smell is the most important feature for determining whether a woman will be sexually interested in a guy. No, seriously, forget about the rock hard abs or perfect hair. It's smell that really gets us. Like fingerprints, everyone has a unique odor print, which is part of the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. Women prefer men with different MHCs, claiming at almost 100% that those that had a similar odor print reminded them of their brother or father. Eey. Keep in mind that these women weren't even told why they were in the study. So instead of looking for a suitable man, perhaps you should be smelling for one. You just can't mess with science because, awesome pun alert, science knows best. Get it?